And I, I use it all by way of saying that when you use a baton, it should have a functionality. And I think it's really important to say that if you don't feel comfortable using baton, don't do it. Please don't do it. If you don't feel comfortable to drive safely while eating your croissant on the way to work, don't do it. You can make things a little worse. If you can imagine a paintbrush, and if you're to try to move something, um, the brushes move first. There are these movements that start, and then things naturally flow that way. We all know how to do this. We just have a utensil that we're just not that familiar with. The good news is the physicality that you've done from your crayon to your pencil to your paintbrush is the exact same muscles that you use even for this. So uh, if you have a baton, and if you don't, it's totally fine. The, um, the, the way that I find best helps to use this baton is to think in a very practical sense. You put your baton in the center of your hand and then your thumb and index finger will gently wrap right where the shaft and the bulb meet. And between these fine muscles here, you can get a lot of movement. You have this thing in your hand and with little movement, it amplifies all of your gestures. Many times we become that kindergartner that conducts doing all this stuff. And when everything becomes important, nothing becomes important. And they have no reason to get details or any information from you.